Hello, and welcome to Jumpin' Johnny Gaming. This video is a walkthrough of how to get three stars in the third campus and two point campus. The campus is called Milton University, and it will mainly deal with the robotics class and new additions to learn in the game. Build the campus requirements, and before you start the new year, build everything you need dormitories, toilets, shower room, staff room, library, private tuition, student room, and union. Vending machines, and I did the speed walking club and assigned an assistant to run it. Make sure you build some love benches outside. You will need these for the two star requirements, and it's best to get a head start. Also, you will be able to upgrade robotics before you start, and one of the three star requirements is to get 100 students, so always upgrade robotics when you can. You will get some tasks before the first star requirements show up. The first is to build a new room called the training room, and you can upgrade your staff's skills or add new skills. Then you have to hire a janitor and then drop it in the training room and make the janitor learn the mechanic skills, which then he can apply the upgrades that you research which is upcoming next in the tasks. At this point on the third campus, the achievement pot for 500 friendships being formed, so there is no need to boost this achievement if you are going through all the campuses, but always make sure you still build items for friendship like benches, etc, as it makes your students happier and you still get to earn more badging. Once you have trained your first member of staff, you want to unlock an achievement or trophy, and you get badges for training lots of staff, and it's always beneficial to start to train staff to get your student higher grades, and you've got to make sure you've got enough staff to cover classes when they're being trained, and also there is an achievement for having a teacher being trained to level 5 in every course subject. Now you can use your janitor to upgrade the robotics project in your robotics classroom. Upgrading this will lead with better grades, coupled with training teachers it will be a lot easier for the students to get better grades than private tuition, but still always have a few private tuition rooms so you can still help students with low grades. A lot of choices, but I wanted to take the time to remind you that you don't have to choose any of them. There's something so overdone about clubs on campus, don't you think? Haven't we all had enough backgammon and volleyball? Fun doesn't have
Now for the first star tasks. The first one will be the lengthiest. You have to have your campus be in level 12. Make sure you're always in profit and then every month or two use money to buy more plots of land and more rooms and also upgrade existing rooms. The level 6 robotic students will be done way before you get campus level 12 and also the builder robot your students will do this by the end of the first year. You will also need to research two more projects. I would recommend researching them all and also feel free to apply the upgrades when you get them as one of the three star tasks is to apply 10 research upgrades and it does count when you have already done it. Another aspect you have to do in this campus as it sometimes it gets cold and your students and staff will be unhappy and what you have to do is install radiators in rooms and inside the campus and heat lamps on the outside grounds. When you select one of the new items, the map will turn into a squared view and you will see the cold spots represented by blue and when you install heating it will turn yellow and orange. If it's red that's too much heating and your staff and students will not like it. So from now on any new rooms and plots of land make sure you always install heating. Another hint in making sure you have what you need is zoom out while waiting for time to go on and if you see anybody with red icons above their heads see what they need and try to make sure you fulfill their requests. You can also go into management view where you build the new plots of land and you can see any serious problems there as well. Here is an overview of my campus after achieving one star. For the two star test you have to level up a teacher to level 5 robotics so try to hire a staff that's level 4 as that will be quicker. I had a level 3 and it does take a while for them to level up. Once you do that get into the habit of constantly leveling up teachers to get better grades as this will help maintaining that B plus average. You have to have 40 students attend events. This is real easy and can be done in two or three events activated in the student union. Get an average B plus was a lot easier than the last campus. I only had two private tuitions and that was enough with training teachers and upgrading facilities really helps with this. And the last one took the longest for me. Have plenty of social and relationship items dotted around the campus and it's just simply waiting for that one. But you gotta still maintain B plus rating. So work on making your campus bigger as you will have to have 100 students so work on getting robotics up to level 5.
This time I unlock the achievement for getting a club to level 10. Remember to promote one and dot them all around your campus. Right, Ricky. Gibbons are actually, well, they're land mammals and apes, much like ourselves, but with very long arms. Completed around year four and have built a large campus all ready for the 100 students. And as usual, here is an overview of my campus after two star completion. For the three-star task, you have to have 100 students or over at your campus. You achieve this by having your robotics course level 5. Upgrade items around your campus, which you should have already made a start. It will benefit you having upgraded classrooms and lecture rooms for your A-star graduation task, which I got by two academic years averaging about 20 students per year, and I didn't send any students to private tuition. If you keep training your teachers and upgrading classrooms, and you have to have all your staff happiness at an average of 55%, you can try to fulfill their needs and send them on frequent breaks. Or if you've got plenty of money, which I had plenty, the monthly profits were very high. Just raise about 10 or more of your staff pay to maximum, which I'll show you how to do that. By this point, I got the achievement for janitors picking up 1,000 litter. This is cumulative across all campuses, and I always had bins dotted around, so no boosting required for this achievement. Also got 100 members to sign up to the same club, and this has to be done in one campus. If you haven't got the staff happiness up by 55%, and it's the last task to do. Go to your staff options at the bottom left of the screen. Select a staff member, and on the right hand side on the screen, press X or the button on your chosen console where the blue X is, and go down the money bar next to the happiness bar, and change it to the highest. You will have plenty of money, and the three star task will be completed. an amateur plumbing club. Oh, it's a lot of fun. The pipes, the tools, the rush when you blow a valve. The competitive element is one thing, but it's also great training for when something goes wrong at home. After all, with the right attitude and a... <laughs> Thank you. 
If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, where there are more strategy game videos. Also, the channel has achievement and trophy guides, secret and tips from the latest releases to classic retro games. Thanks for watching.